am Sharyu Pujari and I am a verified educator on Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy Learning app where you will find my other courses as well. So this lesson is on some short examples related to air pollution and its control part 2. So please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons. Do share this video and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome to an academy and this lesson on salt example related to air pollution by Sharyu Pujari. So this is an short introduction about me here. This is the link where you can follow me on an academy learning app. This is the profile how it looks here. You can find my other courses as well. So friends, uh, in my previous lessons, we have seen introduction to air pollution. Then we have seen a uh, classification of air pollution uh, pollutants, right? In that we have seen the uh, concentration of uh, air pollutant and its conversion uh, so that lesson is very important then we have saw uh, seen salt example part one and now it's salt exam salt example part two so uh, the question was asked in gate 2011 so it's a uh, quite important one so the question is lengthy sorry but the question is Total suspended particulate matter that is TSP concentration in ambient air is to be measured using a high volume sampler. The filter used for this purpose had an initial dry weight of 9.787 gram. The filter was mounted in the sampler and the initial air flow rate through the filter was set at 1.5 meter cube per minute. Sampling continued for 24 hours. The airflow after 24 hours was measured to be 1.4 meter cube per minute. The dry weight of the filter paper after 24 hours sampling was 10.283 gram. Assuming a linear decline in the airflow rate during sampling, what is the 24 hours average TSP concentration in the ambient air? So question was asked in gate 2011. Option A is 59.2 micrograms per meter cube. Option B is 118.6 micrograms per meter cube. Option C is 237.5 micrograms per cubic meter. And option D is 574.4 micrograms per cubic meter. Right. So uh, before going to the solution, uh, first we'll see what all is given. So the initial dry weight of filter paper is given that is 9.787 gram. Initial rate of air flow that is rate of sampling is given as 1.5 meter cube per minute. Time is equal to 24 hours and Q after 24 hours is equal to 1.4 meter cube per minute and final weight of filter paper it is given as 10.283 gram so we need to find out the total average tsp in micrograms per cubic meter right so meter cube so first we'll just know uh, about particulate matter so particulate matter is as we know it is a secondary pollutant right uh, or primary po pollutant so particular particulate matter is generally a primary pollutant and a particular uh, matter uh, refers to everything emitted in the form of condensed phase that is solid or liquid phase. So the solid particulates are for example dust, smoke, fumes, fly ash etc. And the liquid particulates are mist, spray etc. Right. So the particulate matter generally causes respiratory diseases such as bronchitis, asthma or other breathing problems. So particulate matter uh, as I said this type of uh, diseases are caused due to particulate matter and uh, particulate in air are measured by high volume air samplers right so they are measured by high volume uh, air samplers so this is the high volume air sampler from the top the air is coming into the sampler so here filter paper is provided so air is passing through the filter paper and due to the suction it is then uh, sent outside right so here in filter paper all the particulate matters are going to get trapped so its final and initial weights of the filter paper are taken and then we can find out the tsp tsp is our total suspended particulate matter or suspended particulate matter right so it's it is equal to 
फिल्टर पेपर फाइनल वेट माइनस इनिशियल वेट डिवाइडेड बाय वॉल्यूम ऑफ एयर इट इज इन माइक्रोग्राम्स पर क्यूबिक मीटर राइट सो द वॉल्यूम ऑफ एयर सैम्पलर is equal to rate of sampling into duration of sampling so this formula is very important so volume of air sample is equal to rate of sampling into duration of sampling so we have to calculate first volume of air sampled so the uh, there are uh, they said that the uh, q uh, is uh, have a linear decline right so we'll find out the average of both so starting q was 1.5 and later it was 1.4 so we'll find out the average so the average rate of air sampling is equal to 1.5 plus 1.4 divided by 2 it is equal to 1.45 meter cube per minute so this is our average rate of air sampling so the volume of air sampled it is equal to rate of sampling into duration of sampling so the rate of sampling we have taken as 1.45 that we have calculated here and our duration of sampling is 24 they have said in the question so 24 hours we need to convert it into minute so it is 24 into 60 so 1.45 into 24 into 60 so we'll get our volume of air sampled as 2088 meter cube 2088 cubic meter is the volume of air sampled right so the uh, to uh, final formula is tsp that is total suspended particulate matters formula is final weight minus initial weight upon volume of air pumped so final weight they have given in question 10.283 gram minus initial weight was 9.787 gram divided by volume of air pump that is 2088 meter cube just we have calculated so we'll get our answer as uh, 2.375 into 10 raised to minus 4 gram per meter cube so this is in gram per meter cube we need to calculate it in sorry we need to calculate it in uh, uh, micrograms per meter cube so simply multiply it with uh, 10 raised to 6 so 2.375 into 10 raised to minus 4 into 10 raised to 6 will give us 2.3 uh, 237.54 micrograms per meter cube so 237.54 micrograms per meter cube is our tsp right so this answer is an option uh, c they have given so option c is the correct option for this question so this question was very lengthy for this question you needed to know the particulate matter and the high volume sampler procedure right so in this way the high volume sampler works and according to that this type of question can be solved easily if you know this type of formulas like tsp is equal to final weight minus initial weight upon volume of air sample and volume of air sampled is equal to rate of sampling into duration of sampling do correct proper conversions so that your answer will be in correct units that is asked in the options so friends uh, i hope this lesson was useful for you so please do rate review and recommend my courses and lessons do share this video and subscribe our youtube channel thank you